Hey everybody, welcome to my 2022 kind of ION wetsuit and accessories guide. So I'm basically gonna just talk you through uh, the wetsuits and the accessories I use um, here in the UK through summer all until winter. So to start with, I'm gonna give you guys a very quick snapshot of the ION kind of wetsuit range and the different types of sort of level of wetsuit they have. Um, so obviously they split up into the men and the women. I'm gonna be focusing on the, the men's side today. And essentially they have four different kind of uh, levels of wetsuit. They start off with the element, which is a very kind of basic one. Um, obviously they go up in price as well. Um, so you start with the element. So then you go to the core level. Um, I've had core, like Ion's core sort of level wetsuits for quite a few years and they are absolutely amazing. And then up, up from there, you've still got the amp level and then the super, super kind of warm, um, incredible sort of flexible materials, which is the select level, which is the very kind of advanced and obviously it's gonna be the most expensive. So with all the Ion wetsuits, um, all the kind of levels, they come in kind of your kind of basic sizes from extra small to extra large. And also what's really good is they kind of um, cater for the different kind of sizes. Obviously we're not all the same. So they have like small tool, uh, medium tool and um, large tool, I believe. So it means for me, like a skinny guy myself, I can go for um, maybe like a, a smaller size, but in a taller version. So we're gonna get into that a little bit later on. Okay, so to start with, um, this is my 3.2. Funny enough, I've never had a 3.2 up till this year, and I got it pretty recently. Uh, this 3.2 is in um, small tool, um, and yeah, I think I'm around 5.10-ish, around that kind of height, and obviously relatively skinny. Um, and this wetsuit fits like a glove, absolutely amazing. Um, it's the amp level. Yeah, it's just slightly warmer. The, the materials are slightly better than the core versions, um, which means I've been able to kind of use this wetsuit even here in Scotland in October um, and still feel pretty warm. I don't get too cold too easily. So if you're someone who gets quite cold, then um, you either maybe want to get like a, a slightly thicker one or a, a next level up, like a, one of the select kind of wetsuits. Um, but yeah, so basically I use this wetsuit pretty much from end of, sp end of spring all the way till kind of mid autumn. Um, and yeah, I've been surfing, even surfing with this in Cornwall, sort of September, early October, and I've felt, I haven't felt cold at all. So um, an amazing wetsuit to start with. Um, then we're gonna move on to my 4.3, um, which is actually a medium and what I wanted to explain to you guys is that I've been kind of a medium in the ION ranges for a few years now, uh, but recently they've kind of tried to simplify their whole range. And so all these wetsuits are in the Seek range, um, while before they used to be in the Onyx and the Strike range. And Onyx was kind of for the slightly skinnier people and Strike was kind of for more the slightly larger kind of guys. So I kind of just went, went with the medium sizes to start with on the new seat ranges. So from what I found, they, they seem to fit really well on my legs and my arms, but kind of my body, it was a little bit too loose. Um, but I don't know, for windsurfing for me, it wasn't too much of a problem, but maybe if you're surfing, um, you do want that tighter fit. And this is why I got this one in the small tool. And I think that's the kind of the size I'm gonna move forward with. But yeah, so this is the Seek Core 4.3. Um, and as I said before, the core wetsuits are still extremely warm. One of the things you'll notice is that kind of like the seal around the arms and the legs, um, they haven't got like that extra kind of material to make it nice and tight and seal better. Um, and yeah, generally the materials inside are not quite as flexible as you'll see on the amp range. So now we're gonna look at my 5.4. Now this is um, new for kind of 2022. They released these tie-dye wetsuits, which I, which I thought um, sounded really interesting and I looked into it and basically found that um, if you get this kind of wetsuit every single one is unique the pattern is going to be different so that's quite a cool little touch um, that Iron have come out with this year and that's still going to be available for the 2023 suits so if you fancy getting a completely unique wetsuit that no one else has um, this is a pretty cool one to have. So yeah this is my 5.4 which is obviously the thickest wetsuit I've got 
Um, it keeps me nice and warm all during the winter. It's the amp version, so everything's a little bit more, um, the quality's a little bit better. And um, yeah, essentially I use this for surfing and windsurfing. I am based in Cornwall, so you might want to bear that in mind that it's one of the warmer areas in the UK. Um, so I bet I'll use this basically from probably December till March, like those kind of cold months. Um, but yes, if you're living maybe on the East Coast or up here in Scotland, um, then you might want to go up a level to the, um, like a five, get a 5.4 uh, Seek Select, or they've even got a 5.6 uh, yeah, five, version with the hood if you're living in you know, those really cold places or if you suffer from the cold quite a lot. Um, but for me, this does me absolutely fine, um, kind of on the south coast of England in Cornwall. So these are my wetsuits that I use uh, during like the whole season in the UK. And um, yeah, so my 5.4 from probably December to March, and then the 4.3, the probably those bits in between summer. Um, and then I use the 3.2 the kind of some, like end of spring, summer, and then start of autumn. So hopefully that gives you kind of a, a good idea of, um, of what kind of wetsuits you kind of need to windsurf in the UK. Okay, so we just had a look at my wetsuits, and now we're gonna kind of look at the accessories from Ion that I use to kind of complement um, the wetsuits. Now to start with, one of the most important accessories that I always take, whether it's winter or summer, is my earplugs. Um, so what I do is I normally have them in my wetsuit here, and Ion have a nice little kind of key um, string here, but I can also attach this little pouch. In this pouch, I have my two, my two earplugs, and these are from Surf Mold Pro. They're based down in Cornwall. Uh, amazing company that make kind of custom molded plugs that fit perfectly into your ear. You don't need strings or anything, and they just tuck in there uh, for your session, and basically there to prevent surfers' ear, which is an issue that's only kind of recently been, un been understood and happens a lot with surfers, windsurfers, any kind of swimmers or water, user, water users um, in the UK and other kind of cold climates. And surfers here can start from temperatures um, from below 19 degrees. So if you're windsurfing or surfing in waters um, below 19 degrees, I'd much recommend you get earplugs. Um, obviously these, these ones from Surf Mold Pro, I feel are bloody amazing. Um, I've had no worries with them so far and they've actually got like a little kind of hearing thing. So basically your hearing's gonna be like a little bit muffled, but you still can have um, conversations um, kind of with people on the water. Um, what I actually really like about them is for windsurfing, I can, I put them in and uh, it kind of uh, takes out like that really harsh wind noise a lot. And I don't know, for me personally, it's quite nice. It kind of focuses me a little bit. So that's something I always carry with me in my wetsuits. So next up, I've got my Ion Shelter Jacket, and this is basically a necessity um, for you know those sessions where you're going out for a bit, you're coming in, and you want to stay warm, and you want to have a chat with your mates on the beach. Um, and even you know summer months, you can get a bit chilly with that wind chill. What's also cool is that like it's it's kind of this uh, wetsuit material, and um, so you can kind of put it on your wetsuit, and it's not going to get damaged or anything. And then if you're even colder, you can kind of put a kind of normal jacket on top and you're not going to get sort of you're not going to put your nice jacket directly on your wet salty wetsuit so it's um it's a great little thing to have so now i'm going to look at the kind of accessories you'll be looking to have if you want to windsurf in the uk um, during like the winter months um, all these things pretty much wherever you are in the uk you're going to use at some point so we're going to start off with booties these are my Ion Ballistic Socks. Um, so I've actually decided to go for the kind of sock um, boots from Ion rather than the kind of the proper, the proper boots. Yeah, so these are basically like a little bit more flexible. Um, you can see that they kind of, they change form a lot and they're not very like, they're not that rigid, um, which kind of makes it feel like you're not wearing those sort of big bulk, bulky boots while you're windsurfing. And it almost feels like you're just with your feet. And um, you're probably, it's probably going to be a little bit less durable than the proper kind of strong boots that you get. Um, but for most of the stuff that I've been doing, I haven't had any problems so far. Um, so what I've got here is I've got three twos. 
Um, obviously the inside you've got some really nice warm materials as well and these have been absolutely fine on the south coast and in Cornwall in the UK. Um, again probably if you're uh, windsurfing in sort of the northeast or anywhere kind of colder than the south coast um, you might want to get like a, a slightly thicker boot um, but for me if you're a windsurfer I'd recommend you get the sock versions from Ion. Now we're going to look at hoods, um, something that in the winter you know, keeping your head warm is essential. So Iron have got a few different kind of uh, types of hoods. Um, they got some which are sort of integrated with vests. Um, of course, they got some which are integrated with wetsuits. But for me, this is the best option as it gives you the most flexibility. I can change um, from different wetsuits and all that. Um, I've gone for the like the thinner version. As I said, I'm not windsurfing or surfing in super cold icy waters, so this does me just fine. Uh, but yeah, if you're windsurfing in colder waters again, uh, there are, they are thick, thicker versions um, that you can check out on ION website. Okay, last but not least, um, one of my favorite things from ION is these kind of um, palmless mittens. So basically this is uh, quite important because I remember the first gloves I had when I was windsurfing when I was small um, were kind of proper gloves, like the surf gloves. And what happens um, is when you're windsurfing, because you're holding onto a, like a boom, your hands and your kind of forearms can cramp up a lot. And that's something you really don't want when it's cold uh, and it's windy and you're out back in the stormy sea and you can't windsurf back in. Um, so basically Iron have come up with these palmless mittens um, which and they're as you can see they're kind of quite floppy um, which means and there's no like real tightness that's going to cramp up your forearms and um, essentially obviously when you're windsurfing it's not like you're surfing when you're paddling on the water all the time um, the main thing that the gloves in windsurfing want to do is um, keep that kind of wind um, wind chill off um, the back of your hands so that's why sort of on the top iron i've got this kind of um, windproof neoprene um, which basically gets the uh, cold wind off your hands. Obviously when you're swimming there's going to get water in there um, but as I said the benefits to having these palmless mittens for windsurfing uh, very much outweighs having kind of normal surfing gloves. Right then so that was my kind of guide to the ion range that I use from winter all the way till summer. Hopefully that's given you um, a little bit of help on to what you might be choosing to buy um, for your winter or your summer suits. So yeah, that's it from me. If you like the video, obviously go give it a like, comment if you've got any other questions, and if you like this kind of content or you want to see more, then go subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.